Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, like I promised you, um, when I did my second grade curriculum, I kind of showed you all of the books, but I didn't do a flip through and you guys were interested in that. So I have geography left over to do for you guys and history. And I already did my music and art electives and we talked about math and language arts. So I have two more videos to go so you can see the insides of the books. If you're like me, I do like looking at the insides of the books before I purchase them. So I like to link the Amazon links down below for you guys. First book I'm gonna show you, I did not have have in my second grade or my kindergartner's curriculum, but this is a book that we've always had as a staple for our geography. Um, so it's called Exploring the States, and this is Lift a Flap. It's an educational book, and it's very interactive. So it's really nice because they have the state, and then when you flip it up, they have the capital, and they have the bird and the flower of the state, and then they locate it here on the map. So this is very helpful when you are um, quizzing your kids or you're just asking them you can play a game with this book it's just always great to have they also i noticed on the back they have exploring the states which is this one and u.s presidents and exploring the world and it's by the clever factory incorporated company i've never heard of that before but it's been in our family for several years i think my mom got this for us and like i said it wasn't our curriculum choices but it's something that we always have that helps us with our geography along with like the puzzles and stuff like that that you can get Another one that I suggest for any elementary age kid, because this one is really, really good. I even liked it a lot. It's called There's a Map on My Lap. It's by the Cat in the Hats Learning Library, and it's all about maps, and it's just really great. It has lots of information. I'll flip through it really quickly. It talks about longitude, latitude, scales, floor plans. So this book goes along with like an Evan Moore book or the complete book of maps and geography. When you guys do your maps, you can read this. That's what we did. And it's really, really neat. And it has like a glossary in the back. I really loved pairing it up with this book, um, the maps and geography when we were doing, like I said, uh, floor plans and maps and all that stuff. So this like brought it to life a little bit and made it fun. And I think they do have this um, show talking about maps on Netflix or Amazon. I can't remember, but we've watched it before as well. Also, um, for a fun thing that I was supposed to do last year, but I ended up not doing it, this year I think we're going to do it um, for one of our unit studies. So this is good for those days that are rainy days or it's too hot to play outside. And it could be something that you can work on throughout the year when you're going over your geography just for something fun. I also have this laminated um, map of America and of the world as well. And I can't really show you the whole thing because it's kind of big, um, but it's laminated and um, it's from Bookshark. So if you want a laminated map for the kids to work on naming and labeling all of the countries or all the states with the dry erase marker, this is a really good option and it folds up really nicely. This is a new book that I got for our curriculum that I thought was wonderful. I think I got it on I don't know if, oh, I got it on Amazon, actually. It was a used book, and it came really good condition. I think it was like $3 or so, and then with shipping, it didn't cost that much. So I will try to link it down below. You can buy it used or new. And it's um, 16 photographers that actually went around the world within a week, and they took pictures of the average family in different countries. And um, it's just really awesome because I want my kids to have, like, a global perspective on the world and know that they're not just the only ones here um, in the world. <laughs> and so they have like all these different pictures. Now, if you are like me and you just want to make sure that there are no um, things in here that are inappropriate or that something that you just don't want them to see, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you can go through here. I think there was two pictures in here that were a little questionable for me. And I was like, uh, I don't want that um, to be in here. So I just literally like cut them out so it's really not a big deal i just wanted them to have an understanding of the world around them um just a very global minded perspective i want my kids to be you know aware of how everybody lives all around the world so um sorry for the glare but this is a very shiny glossy um book this is a good book just to put on your coffee table and talk to your kids about and just look through so that's probably one of the things that we'll do with it and um maybe sometimes we'll look at it during our morning basket when we're talking about um, the children in different parts of the world. So I might put it along together with children just like me. There's several other books um, like this that you can pair it up with and um, you can find um, 
a kid from a different part of the world and read about them and then find their country in the material world book. So this is one that's been a really good resource for us and we've used it last year and I really love it because it talks about all the children of the world and um, it's great. We uh, read about like one child a week and we'll just like discuss where they're from, where they live, what school they go to, how they do their school, what responsibilities they have, um, their chores, their best friends, or what their favorite things are, what clothes they wear. I really enjoy reading this myself to understand about the kids that live in different parts of the world. So this is a really good one. I can't speak enough about this one. And there, like I said, there's a couple more like this that I probably would like to get in the future. I might get from the library and see if I like it, but this one is like so far my favorite. I also have this Maps and Geography book that is for third sixth graders. And this is a book that we've been using. Uh, we use a lot of the maps section this year or this past year and my kids loved it and a lot of floor plans and stuff like that and then I have like little tabs on here like for Mr. Popper's Penguins we were learning um, different parts of the world and North America, South America and all the oceans so if you're doing a unit study um, kind of like what I do or if you're doing a study on the states there's lots of information on that as well but there's different um, sections in this book and so let me see if I can find Oh, here it is. I did a flip through on this more like in detail if you want to check it out. I'll link it down below, but it's talking about maps, um, geography, United States regions, North and North and South America, and then global geography. This is really, really good, and this is just a staple in our homeschool that we'll have for a long, long time. It says it's good till sixth grade. I'm sure they could use it from elementary all the way to high school because I think there's lots of information in here. I also have um, the beginning geography from Evan Moore that I bought for my first grader and I will be using it for my kindergartner this year and also for my second grader. This is good through grades K through 2 and I think that is very true to the age level. I think a kindergartner through second grader would enjoy this. Unless they've already done something like this already, then you can step it up to the next level. But this talks about landforms and oceans and lakes and bodies of water and um, the continents and everything like that. And we use this in a unit study. So we didn't go through the whole entire book. Last year, we literally just um, pieced parts of this book together with our unit study when we were talking about the earth. And we went through the landforms and all the oceans of and bodies of water. So this is a really, really good book for that. And I'll probably use this for the next few years or so because I do have a kindergartner. Now these three books I do I did not have in my curriculum choices, but I'm just showing you for reference if you wanted to get anything extra. This is a coloring book. I think they're really cheap online, like a couple bucks. And I have not used this resource yet because we really haven't focused on studying the United States in a unit study yet. We just kind of learn it whenever we feel like it. So this would probably go well with a really fun unit study. And this is um, from my father's world. I think they refer to these books for the earlier um, elementary age. And this is Map Champ Atlas. It's really nice. They learn about maps, globes, United States, continent maps. This would be good for kindergartner, first grader, second grader. This is Maps and Globes by Reading Rainbow. And it's for ages seven to 10. I think it's just a good little book to have for, you know, a reader that is in second grade or above and it's a little book talking about geography and story form and the pictures are really nice and so this is just a nice easy read um, for your kiddos to do independent that is what i have i also have the leapfrog geography um, interactive game board that i got and i love it so we'll probably be using that alongside of these books so I hope this gives you guys some ideas of some of the things that you guys can use in your geography this year. There's so many geography um, resources out there. Like I said, there's tons of puzzles and um, lots of other things that you can use that are more hands-on, but these are like the books that I like to keep in a morning basket. We tend to do geography once a week, so these are going to be the books that I pull from for um, our geography and our world cultures. The next video I'm going to be doing, I will do a flip through for our history. 
And I have a few new resources that I want to share with you guys um, that you guys were interested in looking at. So that will be my next one. And I will try to link all of the other um, subjects down below so you can check out one of those flip throughs if you missed one. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time and for watching my video. If you like these videos, I would love to have you guys subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys soon. Have a great day.